Climate change, 21st century humanity's greatest threat. Across the globe, the effects of climate change are felt by societies across the social economic spectrum, and especially for citizens of the developing world. Climate change knows no geographic boundaries, and for this reason, the Southern African Science Service Center for Climate Change and Adaptive Land Management was created. The Southern Africa Science Center for Climate Change and Adaptive Land Management is an initiative of Angola, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia and German in response to global change challenges. It was formed as a response to a proposal of the Bali Action Plan of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change at COP13 to have a regional focus when addressing climate change. SASCO's formation also implemented the recommendation of the African Union 8th Session at Addis Ababa to have coordinated network of regional climate change service institutions. This regional approach that SASCO advocates in addressing climate change is very important because we recognize the fact that ecosystem services such as air, water, forest, climate biodiversity, and stresses such as floods, water extraction, fires, droughts, health problems, and people themselves aren't limited by national boundaries, but we flow freely across the region. Such shared resources and strengths need regionally integrated planning and transboundary regulations. To address these challenges, SASCAL uses a three-pronged approach to creating adaptable solutions to climate change through research, provision of service, and capacity development. The main objectives for SASCAL are to conduct transdisciplinary, problem-oriented research in the area of adaptation to climate change and sustainable land management in order to improve the livelihoods of people in the region, to provide science services and give advice for policy and decision makers, and last but not least, developing human resources capacities and research infrastructures in the region. All SASCAL supported research projects are designed to integrate research and capacity development at academic and technical level but also to provide the basis for the development and implementation of innovative products and services, either by the project partner consortium working with SASCAL or the SASCAL Open Access Data Center. SASCAL's regional secretariat offices are in Windhoek, Namibia. Although SASCAL is not present in all SADC countries, our work is regionally focused. Under the first phase, known as SASCAL 1.0, a research portfolio consisting of 88 research projects was developed and implemented in all five countries. It focused on research that is both contextually relevant and based on the most advanced science available. These projects were grouped around five themes – climate, water, forestry, agriculture and biodiversity – and were designed to integrate research and capacity development but also to provide the basis for the development of innovative products and services across the region. Uh, since the inception of uh, SASCO here in Namibia, member states, including Namibia, have made significant uh, impact on its uh, program and activities. We are talking of uh, the country that is very dry, we are talking of a country that uh, is limited in terms of uh, research input at that time, but uh, since uh, SASCO was started implementing its activity here, we have gained the knowledge that will help us to uh, improve our approach, improve our way, how we want to adapt to the phenomenon of climate change. Successes from Namibia include the establishment of numerous weather stations and the creation of the Open Access Data Resource, providing free and open data for users. This contributed significantly to the regional SASCAL WeatherNet tool. But the greatest need of the country met by the SASCAL program was the development of its scientific capability through training and education. Capacity building uh, is one of the, the main and strong um, 
pillar when we want to, to meet our objectives. The SASCAL funded research portfolio in Angola constituted 13 projects, referred to as tasks, executed under the leadership of five national partners. SASCAL is critically important as it provides a knowledge base for continuing research in Angola. SASCAL made a significant funding contribution to capacity development at both institutional and individual levels through this research portfolio. These participants, students and researchers have equipped or are currently equipped with tools that uh, allow them to go on the field, collect quality data, analyze data, process, and report. The Miyombo Forest Project was able to measure deforestation in the vitally important Miyombo Forest in the province of Huombo. This has led to an increased understanding of the causes and nature of this deforestation and subsequent impact on climate across the region. The Botswana National Node coordinated 14 research projects implemented by three institutions with SASCAL funding supporting 59 students to obtain degrees. Thanks to SASCAL funding, the Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources research infrastructure was strengthened. The task procured an ultra-low freezer which is designed to meet international highest level requirements for scientific and laboratory research. SASCO Portfolio 1 contributed to the much-needed resources uh, for researchers to promote their work through internationally and regional collaboration through the support of travel opportunities to participate in scientific fora. One of the region's highlights was the cultivation, value addition and marketing of climate-smart emerging crops. The overall objective of our project was to cultivate, add value and market selected indigenous species in order to contribute towards enhancing food security and poverty eradication in Botswana. We assessed the abundance and distribution of these indigenous resources using, using GIS systems and we actually have maps that show where you can find these indigenous resources and the types of environments and climates and rain, rain, uh, rainfall levels that are suitable for these plants. Value-added products were developed from indigenous plants for community capacity building. The SASCAL funded research portfolio in South Africa constituted five tasks executed under the leadership of two main institutions with 10 national partners managing the tasks and subtasks. The portfolio saw numerous successes. In the SASCO climate change tasks, we've taken great care to project the, the climate change futures of our region, Southern Africa, through collaborative efforts between Southern African countries and Germany, and using some of the largest super supercomputers we have available in our countries. Task 231-233 stroke was able to predict the drought in the Western Cape province of South Africa. Recommendations on the rainfall and fog monitoring network has particular relevance for ongoing monitoring as it enables detection of changes in climate as well as allows for input to early warning systems. Under task 203, the CSIR forecast system gave early warning of the 2015-2016 drought condition over Africa. The forecast system is currently providing guidance in terms of prospects of anomalous rainfall over the drought-stricken southern Western Cape. In Zambia, SASCAL prides itself on having supported 14 research and capacity development tasks implemented through 10 partner institutions. Through SASCAL funding, 38 students were sponsored to study towards various degree and diploma programs. And we recorded a number of uh, invaluable outcomes from these projects. Uh, these include the survey of over 208 dams by the Department of Geography and Environmental Studies at the University of Zambia, 
Uh, this was done to uh, generate data and information to create understanding of the burden that sedimentation has on the national economy. One of the highlights of the Zambian region was the establishment of a fully equipped bee research center and fertilizer recommendations laboratory. The laboratory building was refurbished and a complete set of new equipment was installed. Beekeeping and honey production management and training manuals were published by the Beekeeping Research Center at Mulungushi University and training has been offered to beekeepers and honey producers. The Bee Researcher Center is fully operational and is now processing, packaging and selling honey. The honey that is processed is both locally produced from the center's apiaries and procured from small-scale producers. Based on the research conducted under SASCAL 1.0, the service provision component of the first phase provided an appropriate range of information, data and knowledge-based services and products to a broad range of users and practitioners. A core service facility of SASCAL is the Open Access Data Center that was established in 2013. Operating as a data hub, the OADC provides scientifically verified, harmonized and quality controlled data, products and information that constitute the basis for the development of demand-driven services. The OADC also developed a dashboard, an online geo tool and a rainfall app that allows SASCAL to inform and interact with citizen scientists. The SASCAL WeatherNet consisting of 154 automatic weather stations, was established. The data is freely available in near real-time through an online platform. Several other products and services were also developed, providing stakeholders with information on biodiversity, land management and hydrological data. One of the most important research outputs from SASCAL 1.0 research portfolio is the SASCAL book. The SASCAL book was launched at the SASCAL Symposium in Lusaka in April 2018 and is freely available for download. One of the entrenched challenges facing the region has been the limited scientific research capacity in the region. SASCAL 1.0's capacity development was thus focused on developing capacity at institutional and personal levels. This was embedded in the research projects. In collaboration with leading research institutions, SASCAL developed and accredited a regional Master of Science in Geographical Information Systems and Earth Observation. The MSc program focuses on Earth Observation, Geographic Information Systems and Remote Sensing. To increase the capacities of communities in planning adaptation strategies and mitigating global change-induced dynamics, workshops on best practices in natural resource management as well as on conservation of agricultural and forestry landscapes were conducted in the SASCAL countries. SASCAL has got a very comprehensive team in the administrative and finance division that serve the organization to bridge the gaps that are between the various functions and divisions. We also apply very sound cost and financial management principles in managing the resources that we have. The financial resources are mostly sourced from BMBF in Germany, from our member states and from other donors. We pride ourselves in our human resources team, which comes with a very comprehensive skill set, qualifications, and we are enabled to have such a qualified uh, set of human resources from our talent acquisition processes and our internal human resources um, development programs. The future of SASCO is promising. My team and I are ready to take the leap forward. More importantly, SASCO 2.0 research strategy has been approved by SASCO board. The Federal Ministry of Education and Research, BMBF, who is SASCO's main funder, has committed financial resources to support research and human capital development until 2021. Member states have committed to fund SASCO's operation, but the most exciting thing is that SASCO is on the path of transforming to an international organization, and this will see internal resource mobilization efforts enhanced from this new status. 
It is no longer an option to delay responding to climate change because as we go into the future, the impacts become bigger and unmanageable and requires more resources that have potential to weaken our economies even more. An action delayed is an quantified challenge against the realization of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. With the successful implementation of the 88 research projects, the establishment of the OEDC, the accomplished services, and the founding of a research network and infrastructure, SASCAL has been recognized as a reliable research partner in the field of climate change and adaptive land management. Research and implementation that strengthens the capability of the region to withstand the long-term effects of climate change and to boldly strengthen sustainable development across the African continent.